Restructuring and Remedial Management, June 2021. We are in the midst of multiple mutants of COVID-19. So it is important we recognize the challenge we have in the marketplace. The liquidity is getting improved by additional support from the governments. Both monetary policy and fiscal policy has been realigned. We have to go one step further. How do we make sure debt servicing capacity of individuals or institutions is redefined? Because of the deflection in the valuation, because of the deflection in the volume of business, the debt servicing is impaired. Now, the incentives are a fillers. Can we sustain and making sure value stream is not disturbed? The answer is yes and no. How various banks have practiced various methods? Let's look at Desha Bank and Citibank. What they do for debt researching. Deutsche Bank improved the results in the first quarter, was releasing money that had been set aside to cover loans that are not expected to be repaid. Provisions for credit losses fell 86% to only 69 million euros in the first quarter, down from 506 million euros in the year ago, reflecting what the bank said was an improved macroeconomic outlook. In July 2019, Germany's largest lender chose to exit the equity sales and trading business as well and consequently struck a deal to move its prime brokerage operations to French peer BNP Paribas. So it is this investment of a, a complete activity. Prime brokerage desk, which lend on margin to high risk speculative investors, were the source of a staggering 10 billion losses across the industry. After bets placed by Huang Tsu's in Arceus Capital Management, restructuring helped to avoid losses, do a business identify a business which have high risk potentials and needs restructuring. So plenty of reasons to believe this is absolutely a vital reorganization. Citibank in January 2021 has created a single wealth management business, City Global Wealth, to deliver products and services to clients from an affluent segment as well as ultra high net worth individuals. The new unit formed by combining the wealth management teams in global consumer banking and institutional clients group. Every institution should do the new unit combining the private banking into the consumer banking. So targeting high net worth individual in international segments. It's a good combination. HSBC, how they restructured and what did they do in terms of remedial management? The main part of restructuring unveiled last year involved cutting its investment banking units risk adjusted assets by around 35% in Europe, 45% in US. Our review of international operations, new segment which can be looked into new licenses. And that's what they did. The sales, the trading, equity research operations were to be shrunk in Europe and structured products moved to Asia from London. So the restructuring of debt pertaining to Dubai and Kuwait etc. in the region itself, they have reorganized, including Qatar. 
investments in new products in Asia, particularly in the wealth management, new types we have to explore. And markets and trade finance business can play a big role. Hubbard Barclays, strength in investment banking, offset challenges at Barclays dominant consumer business where lockdown led to lower spending on cards. So Barclays did not reverse any provisions but set aside much less than expected. The bank added 55 million pounds to its credit provisions in the quarter compared to an expected credit impairment just over 500 million. So every bank has come out with a different discipline. Now when it comes to chance charter, underperforming wealth management business which saw a record quarter with income up 21% on strong sales of foreign exchanges and equities related products. So most important thing is focus on foreign exchange, focus on market volatility and make the most out of it. It took 20 million credit impairment, 20 million dollar credit impairment down compared to 354 million dollars from the previous quarter. So Standard Charter did not release a hefty chunk of the cash it has set aside to cover bad loans. Instead, taking a further 20 million charge in the first quarter. So by the Standard Charter, Barclays, you have to look at objectively. Lloyds Bank, asset quality remains strong with credit experience Benin. Net impairment credit of 323 million pounds in the quarter driven by again release given the UK's improved economic outlook. A reduction in commercial banking ECL also reflect improved outcomes on restructuring cases. So you have to reduce the ECL. Lower flows to default and recent reduction in exposure due to asset optimization. Management judgments in respect of coronavirus retained. Now, 1 billion, including 400 million central overlay taken in the fourth quarter. Net assets quality ratio expected to be below 25 basis points. So that's life span. So when it comes to NBD, let's look at what they have done. First quarter 2021, impairment allowance is reduced 31% year on year with a subsequent lower net cost of risk at 158 basis points following a proactive provisioning in previous quarters. NPL ratio improved 0.1% to 6.1% with a coverage ratio strengthening to 125% reflecting our prudent approach to credit impairment. Impairment allowances quarter 1 2021 of AED 1763 million reduced 31% year on year following proactive provisioning in previous quarters. When it comes to Mashrak Bank, impairment allowance has reduced from 1.7 billion in the last quarter of 2020, stands at now 711 million. This has helped to shift Mashrak into a profitable position in quarter 1, 2021. As you know, last year it made a loss. Dubai Islamic Bank, impairment charges reduced by significant margin, signifying the success of the risk management strategy as well as improving market trend. Impairment charges lower at 80751 million, reflecting banks' prudent approach to undertaking risk given the current market conditions. Non-performing financing ratio stood at 6.2% with impaired financing of 12.9 billion AED. Previous year was 12 billion. So everyone is reorganizing and that's the way it, it going. Even the private wealth targeting high net worth individual segment, everyone is focusing on it because that's where you have service charges and fee income. ESG, wealth management products this year, we have to do a tab. Structuring of debt pertaining to Kuwait and Dubai is a reduction in our ECL due to improved outcomes in second quarter 2021. Do a business identify business which have high risk potential needs restructuring 
restructuring committee has to work on it every institution identify the business which have high risk potential so that's how you manage these things then it's comprehensive enough to navigate and successfully make sure you have financial stability in total respects